on one of the alternatives that you are talking about, we have one of them here in our Lagos studio. Is uh, the chairman of ANRP. He's also a presidential aspirant. Mr. Topper Fasua joins us on the program. Uh, so late, but let's quickly uh, make uh, a benefit of uh, the time that we have left. Uh, as it stands right now, a lot of Nigerians have been talking about the alternatives, the thought first. Mm -hmm. uh, are we still hoping for 2019 that this will happen? Absolutely. Um, and it's great that um, the space is quite populated. What I tell people is that um, we shouldn't even be so much in a hurry to start to narrow down now. Let there be so many people putting their ideas out there in the space. Nothing is going to put government under more pressure than that, you know. Let everybody be engaging with the media, everybody writing articles, everybody talking to radio and all of that stuff, you know. So I think 2019 is going to be consequential. I think... You think that disruption may happen in 2019? Absolutely. This is part of the disruption. It's what we call in economics unintended consequence. Everybody's stepping out with their ideas. And before you know it, we're going to shift something. It's going to be a tectonic shift, you know, in the political process in 2019, the, whether they like it or not. To, the players trying to make this happen, yeah. and the mindset of the people is, is, yes, again, is a, it's it, a different kettle of fish altogether. Absolutely. Together. Again, the only way, like, I mean, for example, I would say, if we had only one person, like, doing all the work, it can get done. None. Nobody, no singular person will be able to shift the things that we need to shift. But if we have 50 people trying to be president, that means 50 people chipping away at every level. And I think that that's the only way you can, you see, for every engagement you have, like I'm talking now, that I'm going to be able to convince one or two people that what we need is actually alternative to what and be called the Siamese twins, which we know this guy is darting from one to the other, you know, that I'm going to convince a few people. You can get to someone the next day, you convince a few people. And that's how we're going to, well, I think what the statement we're making right now is that enough already. We're tired of the status quo. Are you, are you discarding the guys in the APC and PDP altogether? Well, the, the because problem is a lot of people who were there. Dr. Obvious, we say red card to the PDP, red, red card to I the APC. I wish APC. I had something that was more than red card. No, but are, you, are you right discarding, now. are you saying no, all the powerful. bunch of people in those parties yeah, are not the quality we need in Nigeria? They are not. I'm sorry to say. People really? tell us, why don't you go join them? You're going to join them to learn the same old bad things. Some people say, oh, why don't you go to Senate? Go. You're going to learn and be part of the problem. You know what I mean? So what we need is actually that disruptive force coming from outside going to impact on the status quo and get things rolling. So is that hey, going to be easy? Guys, it's not going to be easy. Nobody should think it's going to be a walk in the park. But first thing is you must show up for duty. And you never yeah, know what right. will happen the next time. So, so sad. Uh, well, so sad. Top of us who are. Uh, it's always a pleasure having always you. Always a pleasure. Such a short time that happen. we have. The National Chairman of ANRP, a presidential aspirant, and Dr. Obi Ezekwesili is a convener of the Red Card Movement. It's a pleasure talking to you this evening, Dr. Ezekwesili. That's our show for tonight. And thanks for joining everyone. I'm Shimokim Ali. Bye-bye.